Jack Green was born in 1991 in Maidstone, Kent. Like many children, the Englishman had a career choice planned from an early age. But sport soon took centre stage in his life. I wanted to be a zookeeper and I liked animals and things and it wasn't until my, my stepdad, he was big in sport himself, he said to me, you need to start being a, a proper boy now and start doing some sports. So I started playing football, rugby and um, I realised I could run. I was an 800 metre runner, moved down to the 400 when I realised I had some speed and I'm six foot four now so I was uh, advised, no hurdles, they're not that big, you'll be fine. So started hurdling. When he was 18, Jack secured a fifth place finish at the 2010 World Juniors. The following year, he won gold at the European Under-23 Championships. That success saw him selected for the World Championships that summer, where despite making the semi-finals, Jack described his performance as embarrassing. Ranked inside the world's top 10, he had high expectations for an Olympic medal at London 2012 but those hopes came to an abrupt end. It all started, the Olympics was my kind of trigger, so I fell in the hurdles and I could accept that. Hurdles is, is that's part of the danger, is you can fall, you can hit a hurdle and fall. I was so sure we were going to get a bronze medal, like so sure, and then we didn't, that it was kind of like I was struck by lightning twice, and it was like, that shouldn't happen. In December 2013, Jack decided to take a break from the sport and withdrew himself from lottery funding. He publicly chose to announce his struggles with depression and began to explore life outside of athletics. I had three, four months or so where I was enjoying myself, basically. I was being a normal person, which I never got to do when I was in my late teens because I was, I was a professional by the age of 18, so I never got to go out drinking, enjoy myself. So I did a bit of that, and then I, I really missed running around a track. I woke up, I think it was a Wednesday morning, I just woke up and went, I need to run. Because it's, you know, I'm blessed with a, a talent, and I do really like it. I just needed a, a break from it. Hey. So After contacting former British sprinter Joyce Maduaka, Jack moved to Florida in September 2014 to train with American Lawrence Seagrave, the man who coached Angelo Taylor to two Olympic 400 meters hurdles titles. Joyce is one of his coaching assistants and has been impressed by Jack's attitude. I've trained with the Olympic champion, the double Olympic champion, Angelo Taylor in the four hurdles, same event that Jack does. and. He has a lot of qualities that Angelo has. I can never remember a day training with Angelo where he complained. He would come out and he would just do his work. I've been out here with Jack for like over two months now. Not once has he ever complained for not one of his single training sessions. The IMG Academy where Jack trains is located in Bradenton, Florida. Along with the state-of-the-art gym and athletics track, there's also a specifically designed training hill for physical conditioning work. The academy also has a mental conditioning team, headed up by Dr. Angus Mugford. I think one of the keys for Jack, just like honestly any athlete who's looking to, to get to that next level, um, is having a growth mindset. And that's the ability to look at every experience as an opportunity to learn, an opportunity to grow. Um, that means that no, uh, you know, failure is, is only feedback, you know. So even in a, a tough daily session, you know, what did you learn about yourself? And that the obstacles now become something uh, that you find a way around, as opposed to something that can be overwhelming and, and, and turn into a real negative. I will have depression for the rest of my life, there's no doubt about that. But I've learned so much about myself. The understanding I have is, is huge that I can manage myself. You know, I can, I know if there's going to be a bad day and I know all my triggers, I know how to change it. I, I now work with Angus every week and, you know, he's helping me through that. But I did a lot of work before, like self-discovery. Um, so, you know, obviously I will have this issue, but I think it's actually the making of me. At the academy, the coaching is heavily based on the science of the sport. Lengthy warm-ups, intense drills and strength conditioning ensure that the maximum potential is achieved from each athlete.
He's a pretty decent hurdler anyway, but it's a case of um, he needs to know where and how to sight the hurdle. And that's exactly what we're going to be teaching him out here now, because it's like if you take off a little bit too early, you're in trouble. You take off too late, you're in trouble. So it's a case of not, you know, building on the fact that Jack's had his little blocks with the hurdles and, you know, at one point he physically just couldn't jump them to say, OK, let's retrain you and show you exactly how this is supposed to be. Jack now trains alongside fellow Briton JJ Jagaday, world-class long jumper Daria Klishina, and Olympic and world champion Tiana Bartoletta. For all the training group, the focus for 2015 is on the World Championships, which will take place in Beijing this August. I've been a semi-finalist at World Champs and Olympics aged 19 and 20. I think it's about time I made a, a final. You know, I can sit here and tell you I'm running very well at the moment and I've got the ability to win medals, but, you know, that's going to be a bonus in the next couple of years. But right now, it's, you know, I'll make that final and, and that's the aim. I think people have to remember that Jack is only 23 years old, only just turned 23. You know, he might look like a big old grown man, but if you look at him, we've got another 10 years in him for track and field if he stays healthy and if he learns his craft, which is why I say that he could be a world champion or Olympic champion. After the journey that Jack has been on over the past few years, he's happy just to be able to represent his country once again. I haven't had a Great Britain first in a few years now. It'd be really nice just to put it back on and, you know, be really proud of every, my journey that I've, I've taken and, and all the hard work I put in. I just want to enjoy what I do now, um, not take it too seriously. In the end, I run around a track for a living. Like, there's, it's a silly thing really, but, you know, I'm lucky enough that I get to do it. And we wish Jack Green all the best in his return to competition. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.